And Anita, if you'd like to speak about your experience with uh, Street Village so far. Yeah? Well, I've had very good luck with getting wonderful volunteers. Um, Melissa has helped me with my um, balcony, planting my balcony, doing my gardening, helping me choose plants and, and, and everything that goes with it. And uh, I've had a lot of help with computer helpers. And uh, well, that's, both of those are very important to me. Now I'm going to try looking for somebody to play forehand piano with. Wow. Either a volunteer or another member of Ashby Village. And, uh, oh, I have lots of projects. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll see some of these faces in your home. Yes, some of them do look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been a, me a member? Anita? I've been a, um, about a year. She was an honoree at our 90 year. Oh yes, I was one of the over 90s. Over 90 tea party. Mm -hmm. So Anita was one of our honorees at that, which was fabulous. So it's she's probably a, fabulous to greet. No. That's right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, it's been so much um, fun to work with Anita. I knew, I knew we had a connection because when I went to Anita's house for the first time, I opened the door. She says, oh, hello, dear. Here, please put on these. And I thought, oh my gosh, because I keep these in my gardening bag as well. They're little blue footies, like uh, painters. And when I looked inside Anita's um, apartment, I saw why. The most beautiful white rug you've ever seen in your life. Off white. Well, off white. Well, it, it looks white, but it look, and it's perfectly spotless, and it's gorgeous, and a, a baby grand piano, and just beautiful um, things all over the apartment. But you have to walk through it to get to her patio, so that's why the footies. So anyway, and I use these in my house, and so I knew we were kindred spirits when she pulled out the footies. Um, so we've had a lot of fun doing and redoing, and we just actually spoke. Uh, we're, we're thinking about a third generation of window boxes, and we're going to go succulents this time. We were going English garden before, which was lovely, which was lovely. Yes. but with the drought and with the water and all of that, uh, we decided we're gonna change it up this fall. So we're going to schedule some time and get some succulents and redo it all, and, and uh, it'll just be a new look. It'll be a, a, a brand new look, and so that's what we, we uh, like to do. But it's Ashby Village has been so much fun because you get to meet people like Anita, who are beautiful pianists, just gorgeous, really, really um, concert level, I would say. Well, to me, it is. It looks good. It looks good, and it, and it sounds very good, too. Um, and just so many different... Um, ideas and interests and the history and background, um, her career, New York City, um, doing all of just working and just unbelievable. So you just meet so many great people. It's a lot of fun. There's no pressure. Um, I guess I, I was here a little bit earlier, Anita, so I guess our um, Vodka martini time, so I will have to stop. I heard no booze, but you know, other than that, not really. We don't do that. At least we don't tell Pat we do that. Keep booze on hand. Oh, oh, yeah. She keeps booze on hand, right? She knows her volunteer well. No, just kidding. No, but it's you meet so many nice people, and you can really do um, so many great things together and get to know folks, and it's just so rewarding. It is the most rewarding thing that I've done in in. Um, just a really long time, and it's just been a lot of fun. And I've enjoyed the staff as well as all of the, the members that I've worked with. So I would highly recommend you get on that website, and if you see something that looks interesting, push that button and go for it. And uh, you won't regret it. It's really fun. It's great times. And can you tell all the volunteers what you actually do for Ashby Village? Because you wear lots of hats. Yeah, I, I do. I like the gardening um, with members, and I do that. But I also do a lot of um, facilities management and maintenance of the church here in our offices. 
Um, so I, I do a bit of that. I, I kind of am a, the MacGyver of decorators. <laughs> Give me a toothpick and a paper clip, and by God, I can fix anything. But no, so I, I really it's worked true. with it's true. Um, with the facility here um, to make it a real nice home for Ashby Village. And I, we we like it a lot here, and we keep expanding into new areas. The church has been very generous and giving us new areas um, in which to work. Um, and so we get in here and clean it up and fix it up, and it's really fun. We've had a great time, so that's what I've done. And Hearts and Hands. And uh, with Hearts and Hands has been fun, too. Yeah, I would, de I would definitely do Hearts and Hands. You get to meet, again, the most interesting volunteers, um, especially if you're like me and you retired, and maybe a lot of your friends were work friends. I mean, sure, you have social friends, but a lot of your friends are work friends. This is a great way to make new friends in areas that you may not have intersected with in your business life. Very interesting people. You'll meet other volunteers and other members. Very interesting. 